Hi there. My name is Jason Bangader and I am the executive chef at Langdon Hall Country House Hotel and Spa in Cambridge, Ontario. I'm a George Brown College graduate and from there traveled to Europe, completed my training back home now in Canada in this beautiful place. Today we're going to talk about how to grow your own. So you grow your own for the betterment of what you're going to cook, for the betterment of your health and for the planet. If there's one thing that I've learned as a chef, nothing is better than what you've just picked at that moment in terms of flavor, nutrition. It's just more delicious. What some people don't realize is that there's a real improvement of your mental health when you're working with plants. Just the pure joy of, of bringing something, planting it, having it grow, and then being able to harvest it. What is the end game? Are you looking for some things to, to cut for a salad and to garnish plates? Are you looking to supplement your groceries? Are you planting a garden like this garden uh, to feed a dining room? I think you, uh, you have to have a plan uh, and that's the first step. One of the easiest and best things to get started with are herbs. Fresh herbs are very resilient. The only thing you really need to consider is your terroir, how much sunlight you get, and where you want to take care of these. Things like chives, rosemary, basil, and lemon verbena, along with mint, some lettuces, are all a great way to get started. If you'd like to move into some vegetables, certainly radish, carrot, beets, these are all fantastic uh, seeds to get started with. When do we harvest? The nice thing about growing your own is there's not really any rules about harvest. You play your own game. So, you can select when to pull things out, and it's nice actually to even to experiment over the years. Do we pick it when it's young and as a seedling and enjoy it as that in a salad? Do we let it grow to the point where it's a beautiful vegetable? Or do we leave the plants and let them bolt and go to flower? The beauty of harvesting your own garden is that you can enjoy all the life cycle of the plant. Don't be intimidated by this garden. All you need to get started is a pot, some soil, and a seed. If you're in an apartment, on the balcony. If you're in a small community with a small backyard, get some pots, do some potted plants. All right, we're gonna collect a little bit more and we're gonna head to the kitchen. First and foremost, food has to be delicious. The cuisine we prepare as chefs has to be delicious. And when you're pulling it from your own garden, when you're pulling it from a place where it's been living moments prior, there's nothing better nutritionally and for flavor. We're going to take these ingredients and we're gonna prepare something really fun, playful, and delicious. Here's some of those radishes and carrots. Star of the show. As a student at George Brown College, I had the opportunity to compete for Junior Culinary Team Canada. In that experience, it was an incredible time of training and learning and balancing the stress of competing and creating beautiful food. Kids that don't like vegetables will crush this, right? You know, it's, you make something that's inviting and it's fun and it's interesting and, and it's memorable. All right, guys, well, here it is. Langdon Hall's version of veggies and dip. I hope you had some fun with me today. I hope you've learned the basics and you're gonna create your own. Get out there, plant your garden, and have some fun.